the Crocs. Uh, I'm Sarah. Today I'm going to paint a bunny on a circle door hanger. Um, I just thought it would be cute and I would show y'all also a few like painting techniques. So this is a 18 inch yellow pine circle wow. and I stained it with early American stain and I went ahead and painted this base piece because uh, I wanted it to be dry because I'm a lefty and I dragged my arms through everything. Paint. So I painted this base part with Spanish moss. I'm going to use a little collection of putty, apricot, soft pink daisy fluff for my rabbit. I went on Pinterest and found a painted rabbit that I like. And so I kind of sketched it out. And I have my picture right here to look at just as a guide. It is totally fine to look at somebody else's painting or a picture of an animal uh, to get your ideas from. We're not Picasso here. There's nothing new under the sea. <laughs> Except Billy. Billy's Picasso. So, how is everybody doing on this Monday? I'm sure, well, I didn't, but did y'all watch the Super Bowl or the halftime show at least? I did not. <laughs> so, okay, let me tell you this right here. The shape of the bunny's head mimics a pear. So you can start with that pear shape. And his eyes kind of go in that place where the pear dips the the hips, the waist of the pear. So just FYI if you're going to paint an Easter bunny. I'm doing a base coat of putty. No, yeah, putty on him. And then I'm going to come back with my other colors. Remember also when you're doing this kind of thing, that you need your paint to be wet. Once it starts to dry, there's not going to be any blending. I always start with a base coat though. And then uh, do this little paws kind of hanging over this right here. I left this part on the bottom so that you could like, you could vinyl or write. I'll probably vinyl it. Uh, I'll probably mind up taking this to Canton. But, uh, you know, write welcome. Hello. Your last name. Uh, whatever. So Crafty said, did you stain first and then paint the bottom? Yes. The stain was actually done yesterday. I painted the bottom about 15 minutes ago. Today we're going to be giving away some kettle corn for our giveaways. We've got, uh, we've got some new flavors and uh, we're just going to give away two bags to each of our winners today. Ooh. That's pretty cool, huh? What flavors? No, I mean, one of the new flavors. Oh, we've got the uh, sour cream cheddar. Yeah. Uh, we have <clears throat> hog heaven. We've got sweet kettle. We've got um, toffee. Ooh. And what? King cake. What? King cake. Oh, yeah. The king cake. Toffee. I love like spore. Like That's Mexican toffee, one. isn't it? Spore. Yeah. yeah. yeah toffee. Toffee. I love those. And then we've got a whole lot more flavors lined up, too. All right, so there's my base of the bunny. <laughs> Did we say happy Valentine's Day? Happy Valentine's. Ooh. Valentine's Valentine. <laughs> I don't care about it. BJ, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? I am just working with you, Bill. You look cool, man. That's what's up. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So on his face area, it kind of just mimics the pear again in the nose here. So I'm just going to kind of do my brush around. And it, it looks to me on my painting that there's three or two, two sets, like the face, the outer nose, and then the inner nose area. So I'm going to use my little bit of white here for the inner nose area because it would get lighter as it gets towards you. Remember, things that are farther away are darker than things that are close up. And just, I would, the way I work is I just keep going over it until I like the way it looks. So, like, I may swirl this in here, and then I might feel like it's too dark and come back with a little bit more of the putty over it. This guy is a bunny rabbit, so he has fur. It's okay to have <clears> fresh strokes. Sarah, so crafty said, can she see the Pinterest picture that you got? You can show it. Are you going to get shot? Can you get it? Yeah. All I did was uh, Google. I Googled uh, 
painting or bunny painting. That's all I did was Google bunny painting, found something I liked. Uh, I didn't do like door hanger or anything because I wanted it to be my door hanger, not somebody else's door hanger, but I did Google painting. I think it's good to give yourself an idea or something to look at while you're painting. Um, because, I mean, personally, I can't just paint a bunny from memory. Now, if I did a bunch of these, I could. It would get easier as I go. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Oh. Did you get... I think I'm going to go treat myself to a nice meal. Hey. Maybe some lingerie. Look at <laughs> After I answered, I was like, man, I'm going to take good Yeah. That's why I asked you how to build it. Joking. We were talking. I'm going to work. Took it further than I would have. I'm going to work. <laughs> we were talking about uh, people. Well, you know, I'm sure everybody has a family group text message. We do. And we were talking this morning about people who go overboard for their kids' Valentine's Day boxes. I got to get some pine cone. And uh, I was remembering that one time we were snowed in. Um, when we needed to make Valentine's boxes for the kids for school, so like I dug in my closet and found all my old Victoria's Secret bags. <laughs> I let them cut them up <laughs> to make Valentine's Day boxes. Oh, they thought it was great. They were all like pink stripes. And <laughs> wow. I mean, Tristan's weekend revolved around those ridiculous Valentine's Day boxes. These parents go all I don't out. It. Like, I don't remember. Parents go all I mean, out. I don't think we did it's like a competition. I remember like collecting the little Valentine's things at school, at school and put them yeah. in a paper bag right. or something. That was it. We got the candy and stuff at school and the, yeah. the cards and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, that's all I ever remember of it. I I the parent I saw one parent on Facebook yesterday had lights. Like had it made up with lights all around it and I was like, uh uh. Oh, the best I can do is some Victoria's Secret bags. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know time for all that. I think sometimes, though, we as parents take the fun out <laughs> of it by trying to make it <laughs> something too crazy. You know, like... They like your, your shading. Hmm. Just remember to keep painting. Don't stop and let it dry. And just keep painting over it until you like the way it looks. It's okay. Sabrina asked if we stained the circle. Yeah, uh, stained in, uh, what was the early American, right? Early American stain. <laughs> and then I added this stripe at the bottom of Spanish moss. Uh, you'll notice I'm just using one brush. I'm probably going to dry this and come back at the very end with a paint marker to do the detail on the little bunny nose. I'm going to start, uh, now that I've kind of got my foundation down, I'm going to start blotting it just to give it some shadows and some fur texture. I'm going to do his eyes at the very end with my paint pen probably. I like to use little dabbing techniques when I'm doing fur. So that you can create a texture type feel. Are y'all excited? I love Easter door hangers. I put one I put some in today, like people were asking about my uh, triple bunny topper that I had created uh, on the circles the last canton I put those in today they'll be on the website soon um, I created a new peep shape for y'all it's more true to the peep uh, with the rounded ears and the rounded out body do we have any of the old we have some of the uh, chick shapes don't we you know how the you get the rabbit peeps and you have the I don't know I didn't see that one wonder if we, um, like we I didn't see him uh, but our peep shape that we did have wasn't quite true to the peep form. Right. So I created a new one. Yeah. I created a new one. And then uh, I also made a triple peep shape if you wanted to use them as a topper on <clears throat> on your uh, circle. 
kind of so, oh and I, I put in a new uh, pine shiplap at Easter egg so you could stain it and do it kind of like I did the photo booth with the different color gel stains on top that's gonna be cool too And if you have any ideas of something you want, let, let us know. Now's the time. We've got time to design. Giving him some highlights. Uh, we do have a really good kettle corn promotion coming at noon. I'm not going to release all the details, but I'll give them a link and they can check it out. PJ, what's going on? Oh, not too much. <laughs> I'm, sorry, guys. I'm thinking about the open sheet I have on. Oh, <laughs> he can't. He can't. Put it down. How I'm was sorry. your weekend? Were you at a mall? No, I actually really got me the weekend off, and I went and rode my new dirt bike all weekend. So it was good really lord. Very good. I'm tired and sore. Where'd you go? To my dad. Aw. One time uh, we let him do this and he comes back with, with a broken, broken back. back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I learned a good lesson. Yeah. Going ham out there. Today is just like, oh, my tailbone hurts. <laughs> You're all swollen. Nothing serious. <laughs> can't close we can't hand. prove any of that. <laughs> <laughs> we can't prove any of that with dirt bike related. So that might just be a. Yeah, right? I feel like that every day. <laughs> my tailbone hurts and my jaw is swollen. I'm going to use a little brush here. I'm going to dry brush some wispy hair here. I'm trying to hurry for y'all. They all know I take forever to paint. Ugh. I'm cool with it. It looks like great, Daryl. Don't let me run. I know y'all think I'm joking. This is like the highlight of my day. You know, it is, man. Get away dude. from one computer and come to another computer. It's a nice break. <laughs> and I don't have to necessarily do everything that keeps in front of me. I can just chill yeah. out for a minute. You're right. I you don't have to hear everybody going, go, Billy, ah, Billy, I just Billy, Billy. My Billy. Phone <laughs> oh. What'd you do this weekend, Sarah? I worked on pet portraits all day saturday well that's a lot i slept too i slept in <laughs> and then on sunday i went to Reston and helped my daughter unpack some of her stuff at her new place oh she got moved yes that's good. yeah and uh hung out with her after her church this little guy so it's gonna be so cute I love Peter Cottontail. I should have done him with his little blue jacket, Mr. McGregor's garden. You want to show them one more time what you're you're looking at? Some of the people just, just kind of, uh, sure. And this was just a uh, just a quick Pinterest search of uh, would you look for bunny head, right? No, I just uh, did uh, painted bunny. Painted bunny, yeah. Yeah. And she's just loosely mimicking that. It's not a I did a lot of draw uh, draw brush in here at the end of some colors just to kind of give it that fur texture. I'm using again chocolate, daisy, fluff, and putty. Everybody says they love watching you. Don't hurry. They learn a lot. Oh, I'm going to use a little soft pink in the ears. Now to give it that fleshy look on there. I'm going to brush it right into that little crevice. It's the guys that are always like, let's do our five hour live whenever I come in. <laughs> One thing I've come to learn about a day is there's only 24 hours in it, no matter what. That was so if, intellectual. If I, do, <laughs> if I can do four hours of it watching you paint, that's pretty cool. That was so <laughs> intellectual. If there's one thing I've learned about a day, there's only 24 hours. <laughs> there's Solomon and there's Solomon. <laughs> we put that on a door hanger. 
<laughs> There's one thing I've come to learn about a day. There's only 24 hours. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like the paint's not coming through very good on the camera. It looks really good. Person. Intuition. All right. I think I have a good little. Clean girl says you're getting deep, Bill. I know, right? <laughs> He's so philosophical. <laughs> There's one thing I've come to learn about a day. There's only 24 hours in it. I feel like this should have been like one of those Matthew Deep McConaughey. Thoughts. You know those Matthew <laughs> yeah, McConaughey yeah. commercials? Yeah. yeah. Deep thoughts. That's my I saw a memory pop up for the other day when we were in a flood like four or five years ago and I had posted a meme it was like little Wayne lot of Wayne <laughs> <laughs> okay so I like the way this looks I'm going to dry him just a little bit and then I'm gonna uh, use my black paint pen because I don't have black paint over here Action a little bit. Add his eyes in. All right. My handy dandy paint pen box. This is a Sharpie painter's marker. It's a thin tip, not the super fine, but like a medium tip. I'm going to do the outsides of his eyes here. And it's all making sense now, Sarah. Is it? Yes, because I kept thinking, like, Travis got a skinny head. <laughs> I was thinking you were going to put his eyes in the middle or something. Oh. Uh, now I see it. I was like, oh. Okay. Oh. So My he bad. does have a. Remember, he has a pear shaped head. And then you put the eyes here in the crick, like where the waist of the pear would be if it were a body shape. That's a good place to start if you're trying to uh, draw him or sketch him by hand. Okay. And then I'm going to come down in here and do some little nose. <laughs> Okie says she thought the same because I was, I was thinking like I probably just sounded dumb on camera. She said she thought the same thing. So that helped. Yeah, if you're not looking at the picture of him, you might it would probably be confusing. So there's his little nose. I'm gonna give him some uh, some whiskers here. I mean, he looks a lot like what I would expect out of one of those books I had as a kid. You know? Yeah. Peter Cottonfield type. I'm just gonna lightly don't. Don't worry too Illustrated much. Illustrated by the same person that wrote it. Yeah. And it worked plenty of press. Then I do some little outlines on this paw to kind of separate him from his body. If there's one thing I've learned about a day, there's only 24 <laughs> hours in it. Well, who'd you learn it from, Sarah? Great wisdom. Who'd you learn that from? Great wisdom. With great wisdom comes much responsibility. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I like him. So cute. Hold on, I'm still working on him. Yeah, Terry Donna Donna Darko. You know, looking <laughs> oh, with the black eyes. I haven't given him his highlights. I'm gonna make his eyes come alive. Give me a second. That right there is gonna make a big even on the screen, it's making it pop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Outlines do that. But one thing I like when you're doing a painting like this and uh, it's more realistic, not cartoony, I would suggest a bare, barely outline. You see that I'm not just like hammered down on a marker, pushing it all the way around. <clears throat> I'm just kind of uh, hitting the shape. What is that that you're using? I'm using this uh, paint sharp. You weren't here when I introduced it. The painter sharpie marker. Painter sharpie. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm Something just, you always have, pretty much. Yeah, I love these. They're good for my autograph <laughs> when I'm signing, and they work really well. Yeah. For these types of things, just a thin line. You don't want to overbear, like push, push down too 
marker and over bear. I'm going to give him some little whiskers up here. Little whiskers coming off here. He's got the sweetest little eyelashes. I'm going to do that. I did a poll just to see how many people had Valentine's Day plans. 79% do not. Good. So we're in the Valentine's Schmelling today. Valentine's Schmelling time. Hey, Nancy, we love y'all too. Happy Singles Awareness Day. That's what we're going with. <laughs> <over there. laughs> Yeah. Well, she said I love y'all so much. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna add a few more tiny white highlights. Oh, 80%, yeah. People are like, oh yeah, me too, me yeah, too. Me too. Me too. Okay. For these, I'm gonna get my brush wet. This is the first time I've wet my brush the whole time. Is it an oil based sharpie? I think it is. But this is the only time I use it. Yeah. So I'm going to add this little reflection on his eye. A little dot there and a dot there, a dot there and a dot there. I'm going to add a little bit of a line on his nose and in this little area right here to create this circular, like little little muff he has right here. A few more really light sparkling smile sparkling through there. <laughs> Making up words on the tops of his hands. If you'll notice I'm not doing actual brush strokes, I'm just kind of dabbing it here and there. And this really hasn't taken that long. How long have we been on now? Uh, twenty minutes. Three hours. Twenty minutes. Maybe. That's a good, I mean, that's like a nice little door hanger, Tom. You know, if you're going to be making this for somebody or to sell. There you go. Oh, man. Hey, Gary. Already done. What do you think? I like it. Take a poll on that, Billy. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? He's fresh. I don't know if I was do. Can you see him here, too? Or you just All right, so we're giving away kettle corn today. Mm -hmm. I'll be taking this to Canton to sell it. I think he's precious. Y'all can do this. You saw I did it in 20 minutes. I used just a few colors, one or two brushes. Uh, go back and watch this and do it with me. Start with that pear shape. I'm going to Terry Osborne over here today. Terry, Terry Osborne. You shouldn't have given it to Terry. She was going to buy it anyway. Oh, <laughs> no. Email us Joking. at support at build a dash cross dot com uh, for your kettle corn. Send us your address. What about you, Bill? On Facebook, Summer Davis. Summer Davis. Email us at support at build dash a dash cross dot com. So, Graffy said that's better than Pinterest, Sarah. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, it'll make it to Pinterest. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow. Bye.